what's all this? Robespierre. He's declared today a festival of the supreme being. A pee into the virtue of the nation and the citizen's duty toward it. Why does that sound familiar? As far as Templar doctrine goes, it's a loose interpretation. We'll never get close to him in the middle of all this. We'd best retire and wait for a better opportunity. Still thinking like an assassin. This time, I have the plan. Oh? And what would that be? Think like a Templar. Amazing! I thought we were supposed to be rationalists now. What's he thinking? Vive Robespierre! Oh, that's lovely! Bravo! Well, if Supreme Being ain't called for Robespierre, I'll eat my hat! Ridiculous pomp and circumstance! And it failed, what is it? Robespierre is unassailable. He's got half the guard out in force. We'll never get within ten yards of him. Just what I said. But he's not as popular as he was. The purges, the supreme being cult. If we can discredit him, he's finished. Massive public spectacle is the perfect venue. Exactly. Paint him as a dangerous lunatic and his power will evaporate like snow in April. But we'll need some convincing evidence. I have an idea where to start. You coming? Meet me after. I have my own arrangements to make. Let's see. Incriminating evidence. Incriminating evidence. deputies of the National Convention. Lists of political figures written in the hand of a man fond of sending his rivals to the guillotine. Yes, he should do nicely.
list of names. Fifty or so deputies of the National Convention, all written in Robespierre's hand and all opposed to him. I imagine those good gentlemen would be quite interested to know they're on that mm. list. But first... Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Distract the guards, I have no idea. Distract the guards? Right. Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism, they can no more tear the world from the daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism, they can no more tear the world from the Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism. Thank you. 